So welcome to the third video. In this last technique, we're going to get rid of the last component to back pain, and it has to do with an old injury to the tailbone or falling on the buttocks. So a lot of people will fall on the tailbone. The force travels up the spine and gets stuck right underneath the occiput. So we're going to, we're going to stretch this out. We're going to take our finger and we're going to hook it up underneath the occiput, and then we're just going to rock it forward and stretch it like saran wrap. We're going to rock our hand around the occiput, pushing, like shearing, bringing the forehead down, bringing the finger up. We're just creating space and stretching the dura that's connected to the occiput. And as we come down, it's, they're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit sore because there's a lot of energy still stuck there. So a lot of times the patient will say, well, I fell when I was three years old and I'm 50 now. Well, that energy still gets stuck there. And so we wanna pull it out. We can use our thumb and we're just gonna rock it up like this, stretch it forward like that, maybe for like a minute or so. And we're just creating space in the whole spine and you're gonna be quite surprised how their back pain is gonna go right away, especially if they had a history of a tailbone injury. Because when you actually fall, you really create a shock wave that puts the um, dura mater in a, in a contractile state where it's guarding, and then it makes the person shorter and compressed, and it will always be pulling on that lower back, okay? So that's just the last technique for the lower back it's simple, but it's very powerful. Uh, go ahead, apply this to all your patients that you're having challenges with. And I uh, think you're gonna probably wanna check out the entire technique because in the other techniques, we're gonna show you how to do some real new things on extremity stuff. The way they teach us in school for knees and shoulders, honestly, make it worse, okay? Drop table, trying to adjust the joint, that is not gonna work. This other technique that I developed will get rid of shoulder pain like that, knee pain, it'll be amazing. Uh, extremity stuff, hand, carpal tunnel, TMJ, fibromyalgia, uh, plantar fasciitis, and a lot more stuff for the low back as well. So I hope you check it out and uh, apply what you learned so far.